Hi, it's Terry McCormick. And once again, I am so excited to introduce you to a brand new Star 104.5 Teacher of the Week. And this week, it is an eighth grade teacher. He teaches history at Lewis and Clark Middle School, Mr. Gary Mercer. Hello, Mr. Mercer. Hi, nice to be here. Nice to meet you. We got such a wonderful letter um, from one of your students, which I thought I'd share with you in just a minute. But you've been teaching now how long? For uh, 16 years. I've been here at Bellevue Public Schools for 16 years. Before that, I was in the Air Force for 24. Wow. Retired and then started to teach. All right. Mm -hmm. Did the Air Force prepare you for teaching eighth grade students? Well, <laughs> you know, I've met like, just a diversity of people in the military from all walks of life sure. and from all backgrounds. So I think it did. You know, really, I, you know, being here in Bellevue, we have people from military background from all parts of the world. True. Oh, so I think it's a, it actually worked out really well. Awesome. Well, I'm going to share part of this letter. It's from one of your students' parents. It said, Mr. Mercer is an amazing teacher. He goes above and beyond to ensure his students enjoy learning history. Now, he makes learning fun. He also runs the Drug Free Club. His class is the only one my daughter looks forward to. Every day she has his class, she gets so excited to lead our dinner discussion, telling us about what she learned in history that day. So she's really absorbing all of that. And I know history was one of my favorite subjects in school too. There's so much about history Absolutely. these days. Yeah. You know, it's a story of America, you know, and I always talk about, you know, would, uh, you know, who doesn't want to hear about a story about themselves or their family or where we came from? And then I always talk about, you know, um, would the British have ever put on the Stamp Act or the uh, Tolerable Act, the Sugar Act, if they know they're going to lose their colonies? Well, of course not. So, you know, I think the story is amazing, American history, and um, I, I'm glad that <laughs> that Ashley loves it. Uh, I, I'm very passionate about it, and uh, I'm, I'm just, you know, I just think it's a great story. So, are you a big Hamilton fan? <laughs> I am, and I tell you. Um, I read the book, Ron Chernow's book, Hamilton, probably 10 years ago. And this is when they're talking about actually removing Hamilton from the $10 bill. And I'm like, what are we doing here? He, yeah. He's amazing. Well, thank God Lin-Manuel Miranda read that same book and then decided to write the play because now, I mean, I, I you can't even imagine anybody trying to take Hamilton off the $10 bill. But it's really excited America also to look back at our founding fathers and the story of how we were founded. So I, I'm a huge Hamilton fan. Yeah, and those $10 bills are hard to find, but okay, now I think they're popular because of Hamilton. Right. But anyway, um, I wanted to ask you, Mr. Mercer, with all of history, because obviously the pandemic is going to become part of our history. Right. What has been the biggest challenge for you as a teacher during this time? Well, you know, the, the biggest challenge is that we still have kids that miss like a year and a half of, of school and some, you know, you know, they, we shut schools down in March of 2020. Some uh, students opted uh, to remote learn and uh, getting everybody kind of back into class, feeling safe, feeling, you know, that, uh, uh, you know, and, and honestly, kids actually just kind of missed a little bit of that education yeah. time. So we're, we're uh, you know, that's a, been the biggest, biggest challenge, honestly. Sure. So, yeah. yeah, I think for everyone that has been, but let me switch things around now and ask you, what's been kind of like the silver lining or the bright side, something you didn't expect that came out of this that really enhanced what you're doing? Well, I would tell you that I see a lot more compassion uh, from my students that, you know, uh, when we talked about uh, needs, you know, a lot of students didn't have the ability when we were at home to have the online learning that maybe didn't have the, the, uh, the Wi-Fi or they didn't have the actual device to use. I think people that kind of brought it home to them, that there's, you know, that everybody was not equal. And that I just see a little bit more kindness towards each other in the classroom the last year, year and a half. That, uh, you know, at least that's when my impression. Kids are a little bit more aware. You know, when you have such a, you know, a, a pandemic swept through the nation, you know, this is the first time in my life it's ever happened. It seemed to me like it was just history. And this kind of brought it back as reality and that we are vulnerable. Sure, sure. I think that's a great lesson too. Okay, so we want to find out a little bit more about you. We know you're in the Air Force and you've been teaching 16 years, but I'm just going to ask you right now, what is your favorite sports team? The Denver Broncos. <laughs> okay, you got some stuff. Okay, there oh, you go. Oh yeah. I'm from Colorado originally, so 
And I love the Huskers too. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yeah. go Big Red. And then what is your favorite movie? Uh, I love the director's cut of Dances with Wolves, which okay. is like four and a half hours long. Uh, not a lot of people have seen that one, but I love it. Um, my wife almost rolls her eyes every time I... <laughs> Um, also, if you've ever, you know, Saving Private Ryan is oh, a yeah. really good, um, good movie. Yeah, anything it. with Tom Hanks, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm all on board for too. And then, what do you like on your pizza? Hmm, um, a carnivore. So I'm going to go with meat, <laughs> like sausage, pepperoni, ham. Uh, wow. <laughs> maybe bacon. I, yeah, when I go out for pizza, I usually go for the all carnivore delight. All right, and I have one final question for you, Mr. Mercer. What do you love most about teaching? You know, I just love being able to kind of tell the story of America. And regardless, you know, I've been around the world and what I try to tell kids is no matter what, no matter who you are, almost everybody wants the same thing. They want to have a good education. They want to reach their family with opportunities. They want a safe environment. And um, just, you know, being able to kind of spread that message, um, I, I think is a great opportunity and a blessing for me. Sure, sure. Well, that's wonderful. And I want to again congratulate you for being one of our teachers of the week. And I Thank ask you. you about pizza because one of the things we're going to give you is a Zio's pizza gift card. So oh, you can go out and get that meat lover's pizza hey. and, and enjoy it on us. And I also love presenting this. It's our Star 104.5. Teacher of the Week awesome. Award for you to put on your desk. I see you've got a lot of a nice collection behind you. You can add this to it too, Mr. Mercer. So well, we want to thank you for your time. Thanks for all you do with the kids too, because um, they seem to really love you. And before we go, did you want to talk anything about your drug free club? I know it's really popular. It, it's, uh, you know, we I've been doing this for probably like 10 years and it started as part of the Red Ribbon Week, which uh, of a DEA agent that was killed down in Mexico and his family actually started this. And it's a, a Red Ribbon Week and Drug Free Club is kind of a, a, a middle school across the nation program. Okay. Where we, you know, because really the decisions on drug and alcohol really start now, you know, yeah. in middle school, you know, uh, in trying to show the uh, students the, the dangers of some of this uh, you know, that they're going to face in high school. So uh, we meet. Um, about once, well, we do August and September is the most important meetings because Red Ribbon Week always is the last week of October. Okay, okay. Well, that's yep. great. Well, you are a hero and mentor to so many of your students. So thank you again for all you do. And congratulations, Mr. Mercer, on being our Star 104.5 Teacher of the Week. Thank you.